Hi, my name is Renato and I work with the Austin Foundation. All people, adults, teens, and children have their understanding of what they see, know, and think. This is an excellent starting point for understanding someone else. Today, we're going to talk about taking someone else's perspective. This is where you try to figure out what other people think, know, or see. Sometimes it can be the same as you, and other times it can be different. Sometimes two people have different feelings about the same thing, and that is okay. So I want you to close your eyes and let's imagine something. Let's imagine two kids building a tall tower together. One friend is feeling really excited and wants to knock a tower down for fun, but the other feels proud and wants to show it to others. They're both building a tower, but what they feel and think are different. We're gonna try something fun, and it's gonna help us practice seeing someone else's perspective. First, as quick as you can, we need to go get some supplies. Please go and get two sheets of paper and find it as quick as you can. We'll take 15 seconds to find them. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's okay if you take a little longer to get supplies, but we're going to get started and we're going to go slow so people can catch up. Let's take two pieces of paper and fold them at the same time into two airplanes. This piece of paper will be your perspective and the other paper will be somebody else's perspective. Although the paper airplanes look the same, when you throw them, they're probably going to land in two different places. This is just like when you think about people. No matter how similar they are to you, their thinking can be in a completely different place than yours. We're going to use the planes as an example. Let's test this out by flying each plane a little bit differently. One plane is going to be you and your thoughts and feelings, and you'll throw it with your right hand. The other plane is going to be someone else and their thoughts and feelings, and you'll throw it with your left hand. I want you to pick a place in the room, try and toss the planes at the same time, and try to make them land in the exact same spot. Think about it. Do you think they're going to land in the same spot? Let's take five seconds to find your spot. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. We're gonna throw them at the same time. Three, two, one, and go. Did you notice how different each plane flew and landed? Plane number one landed over here, and maybe plane number two landed over there. Maybe it's not the same place. They both flew, but had different ideas about how to get to the same spot. This is what it looks like when you try and learn how others see, know, or think about the same thing. This helps you appreciate how different ideas are okay when your goal is a better understanding of each other. Thank you for spending some time with me exploring another person's perspective by flying paper airplanes. I hope this was fun and helpful. I'll see you in another video.